Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm gonna let you know how you can analyze your real-time data in Power BI. That means we are going to get a data from IoT device and then we are gonna get the same data into Power BI. So how to do that and how we can achieve that? In this video, I'm gonna let you know everything. So if you are also the one who would like to analyze the real-time data that is coming from the IoT devices and you would like to visualize it on your Power BI dashboard or maybe in your Azure Blob storage or any other account, then how you can do it, I'm going to let you know in this video. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. The very first there are certain prerequisites in order to achieve it and one of them is you should have Microsoft Power BI Pro account and also you would need a Microsoft Azure account. If you haven't created please create those accounts and you can create it for free. For Microsoft Power BI account you need your office or your school email address however Microsoft Azure account you can create even with your personal email address. Secondly, you should have a basic knowledge of SQL and at last you should also have a basic understanding of Microsoft Azure. Now moving forward, this process is going to be completed in five main steps. The very first step would be to generate the data using IoT device. That would be your IoT device simulator. Second one would be to get the data into IoT Hub. For that, we are going to create one IoT Hub in Microsoft Azure. Thirdly, we have to create one Azure Stream Analytics job. And this is going to help us to get the data from our IoT device simulator using IoT Hub to our Power BI. Then we have to aggregate the data, which is going to be the output from our IoT device. Then we have to display the data in a dashboard and for that we are going to use Microsoft Power BI. Now let's have a look at the architecture, how it's going to happen. Over here on your screen right now you can see that first we need an IoT device simulator and over here you can see on your screen this is the sample IoT device simulator that is provided by Microsoft and we are going to use it. And how we are going to use it, I'm going to let you know at a later part in this video when we are going to start our demo part. Now, the second step would be to get the data via IoT Hub and Azure Stream Analytics job. Then at last, we are going to display the same data on our Power BI dashboard. So over here, you should note that once you get the data inside the Stream Analytics job from the IoT Hub, it's known as your input. However, from the Azure Stream Analytics part, once you are going to query the data or you are going to aggregate your data and pushing it into a data set on Power BI, that is known as your output where you are going to display your data. Now we are going to move into our demo part where I'm going to show you how you can achieve it step by step. The very first you have to go on Azure portal. There you need to search for IoT Hub. Click on it. And then you would find this portal here. You can click on plus create button over here. You need to fill out certain information. For example, your resource group, IoT hub name. You can give it any name, but please make sure it's not already being used. For example, you can see that IoT hub is not available. So I'm going to change it to PCP IoT hub. You can also change the region if you would like to otherwise review and create. We don't need to change any other settings over here. For example, you can see that IoT Hub is not available. So I'm going to change it to PCP IoT Hub. You can also change the region if you would like to otherwise review and create. We don't need to change any other settings over here. Just wait for a couple of minutes. Now the validation has been passed so we can create it. As you can see that it's submitting deployment and after a couple of minutes, you would find that your deployment is complete. Please wait for it. And here you can see that my deployment has been completed. Now I can go back to the resources. 
over here you can see that this is my BCP IoT hub and here what I need to do I have to come under device management and over here I need to add a device because our device is going to be our IoT device simulator so first you need to give it a name which is going to be your device ID and then you just need to click on this save button please don't change anything over here and once it's been created just go go to this one and here we need to copy this primary connection string which we are going to use under our IoT device simulator. So now I'm on my IoT device simulator. You can find the link of this portal in the description section. And here we need to change the connection string on row number 15 and then run it. After some time you would see that the messages are going to be appear. And here it's been started and also the light is blinking that means my simulator is working now so go back to home now and now we are going to create one azure stream analytics job now let's create azure stream analytics job for that again you have to come to your azure portal and here just search for stream analytics job over here we have one select it and now I can again click on this plus create button and here you need to fill out certain information let me just do it quickly over here please make sure you select the right subscription and the resource group and also change the streaming units if your load is not allowed just make it to one and hit on this create button Deployment is in progress over here. So generally it takes some time and now it's been completed. So let's go back to the resources. Over here under job topology, you would find that there are three main things. Input, output and query. So now we are going to configure input first. So for that, click on input and add an input from IoT Hub because our inputs are going to come through IoT Hub. So let's fill out these information quickly. You really don't need to change a lot of things over here. So just fill out the input alias first and then select your IoT Hub. And if you would like to select the consumer group, you can otherwise leave it default only. You really don't need to change other things. But make sure the endpoint is messaging over here. And then we are going to save it. And now it's adding input and after a certain time you see the successful connection test over here. So just close it. Now we are going to do the same for output but output is going to be the Power BI because we want to create a Power BI dashboard with the real time data. So let's fill out the details over here. By default please use the same account for Azure portal as well as for the Power BI. It's going to be very smooth transition and you can easily connect with your workspaces so let's save this one as well and now we are going to create a query for that i'm using this sample query you can also find it in the comment section or the documentation link and let's save this one and you can test it over here as well so we have just did it now what i'm going to do i'm going to start the job over here so i'll just click on refresh button and now you can see that my job has been started now let's create the Power BI dashboard. So go to your powerbi.com portal. Over here, we have to go to the workspace that we selected over there in the output. And here, BCP was my workspace and here I can see the IoT data. If you are not able to see it, please make sure you refresh the page or wait for some time. Now let's give it a name. Real-time data or real-time analytics dashboard create it first we have to edit this dashboard because we need to add a tile over here so let's do it using custom streaming data and over here you can see that iot data is appearing so select next and here you can add whether you want a card or chart etc so we are selecting first card and we want to display the temperature over here because that is coming from the aggregate value that we used the query and if you want to add certain details as well you can do that otherwise simply click on apply button and now let's do one more thing let's create one chart as well over here that is the line chart 
over time. So go to again add tile, select your custom streaming data and here again you have to select your data set. Now instead of card let's use the line chart. Here you have to change the value if you would like to. So as you can see on the screen I'm using one last minute but I'm changing it to last five seconds. But later on guys I have already reverted the values. So it's on one minute and now I'm going to add the axis which is going to be my window end. It's a timeline and then my temperature is the values and apply it over here. Now let's wait for some time. Now as you can see that my sensor is working properly. My IoT device simulator is generating the messages and light is blinking. That means it's running fine. If it's running fine, that means it's generating the data. Now you can see that temperature values are changing. This is your real time data analytics dashboard where you are getting the real time data. I hope now you have a complete understanding of creating a real time data analytics dashboard in Power BI. And if you have any question and concerns, please don't forget to connect with us. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI updates and videos. See you in the next video.